This question is from GATE 2021, Mechanical Engineering, Site 2. The question is, to find the ratio of area of the inscribed circle to the area of circumscribed circle of an equilateral triangle. In this figure, this inner circle is inscribed circle of this equilateral triangle. It passes through all its sides. The outer circle, which passes through all, the, all its vertices, is the circumscribed circle. To find the ratio of the area, we need to find the area of the circle, which is given by pi r square. In this figure, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Therefore, all its sides, by definition, are equal, and all its angles are equal and of 60 degrees. The medians of an equilateral triangle are same as, it, as its altitudes and its angle bisectors. Here, the line segment CO is one of the medians of the triangle. It passes through its center. For an equilateral triangle, the center of an inscribed circle and its circumscribed circle coincides with this center. And also, the center divides the median of the triangle into line segment of 2 to the 1 ratio. In this figure, for equilateral triangle ABC, the inscribed circle is circle C1. It has its center at point P and radius R1. The circumscribed circle for the triangle is C2. It has radius R2 and its center is also coincide at point P which is the center of the triangle. The line segment CO is the median of triangle ABC. Now, to find the ratio of the area of circle C1 to set of circle C2, we need to find radius R2 and R1. To do that, we will first find the length of line segment CO, which is the median of triangle ABC. Now, since in case of equilateral triangle, the, bisect, the medians are also altitudes of the triangle, we can write that OC is perpendicular to side AB. Therefore, using trigonometry, we can write OC equal to AC times sin A. Since the angle A is of 60 degree and we assume that the A small a is the length of equilateral triangle side AC, you can write OC equals to A times sin which will mean that OC is equal to root 3 by 2 A. Now, we know from the figure that OC is equal to PO plus PC, which is equal to R1 plus R2. And since P is the centroid of the triangle, it will divide the line segment OC into the tenth of 2 to the 1. Therefore, we can write here that PC to PO ratio is 2 to 1. Using this property, we can find PC will be equal to 2 by 3 times OC, which will be equal to 2 by 3 times root 3 by 2 A, which is equal to 1 by root 3 A. Similarly, using the same ratio we can write PO will be equal to 
वन बाई थ्री टाइम्स फोर सी विच विल बी इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री टाइम्स रूट थ्री बाई टू ए विच इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू रूट थ्री ए नाउ वी नो दैट पी सी equals to R2 and PO equals to R1. Therefore, the asked ratio of inscribed circle to that of circumscribed circle A1 by A2 will be equal to by R1 square by by R2 square which will be equal to R1 by R2 square we can substitute the value of PC and PO within this and we find that this ratio is equal to One by two root three whole divided by one by root three whole square. Which is equal to one by four. Therefore the ratio of area of inscribed circle to that of circumscribed circle will be a1 by a2 equals to 1 by 4. So answer C will be the correct answer. This is the shortcut method to solve this problem. The median OC of equilateral triangle ABC is also its angular bisector at angle C. Therefore, the angle OCB will be equal to one half of the angle. A C B which is equal to 30 degree. Now as we know that the radius of circumscribed circle is P C and radius of inscribed circle is P N. Let us denote them as R2 and R1. As previously using trigonometry for triangle P and C we can then write that sine of angle P C and is equal to Pn divided by Pc. Now, since Pcn is equal to OCB, they are same angle. We can write sine OCB equal to. Let us substitute. R2 and R1 in this P and PC, we can write R1 by 2. Since we know that angle OCB is of 30 degree, we have R1 by R2 equals to 
साइन थर्टी and we know that r1 by r2 is equals to 1 by 2 this ratio will therefore be equal to 1 by 2 square so this goes to 1 by 4 